Many women diagnosed with a fibroadenoma are reluctant to accept watchful waiting. They seek definitive treatment to address anxiety, pain, possible breast deformity, and continued growth. Until recently, surgical excision with the accompanying scarring, inconvenience, and potential breast deformity was the standard approach. Historically, surgery was how we treated these patients. Um, the surgical techniques have improved. It is generally an outpatient surgery. Usually the scarring is fairly minimal, um, but it does still require surgery, and for larger lesions, there is the potential that the surgery could leave some deformity in the breast. A new alternative is the IceSense 3 procedure, a quick office treatment that destroys the fibroadenoma with targeted cryoablation. IceSense 3 is state-of-the-art third-generation cryotechnology. The IceSense 3 system's intuitive user interface provides step-by-step -step instructions and a heads-up display of procedure progress. For physicians skilled in ultrasound-guided procedures, the learning curve for the IceSense 3 procedure is short. Building on the established efficacy of cryoblation, the IceSense 3 system has been optimized for predictable treatment of symptomatic fibroadenomas. The system uses liquid nitrogen and different size probes that are compact, disposable, and provide customized treatment for the individual patient. The procedure is fast, easy, and comfortable. It can be completed in minutes, in the physician's office, under ultrasound guidance, and with minimal impact on the patient's routine, short recovery time, and virtually no scarring. So the nice thing about cryoablation is it allows women to have another option, something besides either leaving it alone or taking it out. We can get these lesions to shrink, essentially melt away, using an office-based procedure, a very small scar on the skin that most of the time is not even visible when it heals. And even with the larger lesions, there really is no potential for breast deformity or change in shape and size of the breast. Using ultrasound, obtain the fibroadenoma's longest axis, diameter, and distance from the skin. Use the measurements to determine the IceSense cryoprobe size needed to engulf the fibroadenoma. If possible, position the patient so that the cryoprobe trajectory to the lesion is parallel to the chest wall. Ensure that the probe safety mark is beneath the skin. Begin by placing the doer of liquid nitrogen in the console. Input the serial number of the cryoprobe into the system as directed then press enter. Open the sterile package and attach the probe to the handpiece. Tighten the probe until the next indicator appears on the screen. Perform a pretest by submerging the tip of the cryoprobe past the skin safety mark in sterile saline. Observe the monitor and the cryoprobe during the test. After the test is complete, choose the icon that best represents the test results. After the successful completion of the test, place the IceSense handpiece into the console holder. Prep the site in a normal fashion. Under ultrasound guidance, inject lidocaine at the incision site, then along the projected cryoprobe path to the lesion. Make a nick, at least three millimeters in length, to penetrate the skin. Using ultrasound guidance, insert the cryoprobe along the fibroadenoma's long axis and through the center until the probe tip reaches the distal edge of the fibroadenoma and not beyond. Using a transverse view, make sure the probe is centered within the fibroadenoma. Set the appropriate treatment parameters based on probe placement and largest ice ball diameter needed. Activate treatment cycle by pressing either the blue button on the integrated handpiece or the blue button on the screen. As an alternative, you can also activate the treatment cycle with a foot pedal. Liquid nitrogen will begin to flow through the probe, leading to near instantaneous freezing of adjacent tissues. As the treatment cycle progresses, monitor the ice ball formation under ultrasound. Ensure that the ice ball fully engulfs the lesion during the first freeze cycle 
monitor the ice ball distance from the skin, maintaining an adequate safety margin. For lesions close to the skin, or for ice ball growth closer than 5 millimeters, create a space by ultrasound guided injection of saline between the ice ball and the skin. Complete the freeze, thaw, freeze cycle. After the automatic treatment cycle is complete, the console will begin the warm cycle. This process warms the cryoprobe tip to facilitate removal from the ice ball. Begin to apply gentle traction to the cryoprobe approximately 35 to 40 seconds into the warm cycle until the probe is removed. Dress the incision site in your customary manner. Post-procedure pain medication is normally not required. It's done in the office. It doesn't take much time. It's almost painless. Sometimes the worst part is the injection of the local anesthetic, but after that, patients don't feel a thing. Women are looking for other options. They're looking for a less invasive way to treat their fibroadenomas. They don't want surgery and they don't want to just watch and wait.